I didn't know this. I was too busy jacking my cock. In the living room. In the living room, dog. That's crazy. What's happening? We're in. Are we in right now? Yes. All right. You think you can just say a sentence where you're like, I'm trying to fight off a man for my mom and we're we're not going to start on that? Yeah. Well, I, this is the thing, dude. So my parent, parent, see, no, no dad. Uh, <laughs> my mom, my sister, and my little brother are in town. Okay. So we went. Sounds like a riddle. It is. <laughs> so what is, uh, okay. So we went. <laughs> 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 okay your mom your brother your sister yeah. cross the creek yes in detroit under the bridge how fast were they walking 11.6 miles the an hour where's the train math problems going up we're always about trains and apples <laughs> yeah. if you had 47 apples and you ate 14 who's fucking my dad that's what i'm saying also <laughs> if you if you have a like a problem for a kid why don't you use something the kids like like okay there's three kids True. in the closet jerking off how much who likes come- that <laughs> me <laughs> hit the gun sound ow alright All right. so as I was saying uh, we went my sister and my mom were in San Diego so my brother and I drove down to San- now this de- <laughs> definitely does like an SAT question what, yeah you bring San <clears throat> Diego to the mix I'll walk we're you- on the Amtrak I'll walk you through everything my sister had a physical therapy uh, conference in San Diego. My mom flew into San Diego to visit her best friend. So my brother and I were in LA. We drove down to San Diego. Anyways, all that didn't need, but I just decided to give sure, everyone yeah, more context, here. right? Here. So we all went out to eat before meeting up with my sister at a conference. We enter this restaurant. Me and my mom had a park. My brother and his friend were already in the place. So we go to open the door to get into this restaurant. And my mom opened the door and she banged into this man. Mm. That was in front of the door. Mm. Who's in front of the door. See-through door or no? See-through. But my man was wearing all black, like he was a cat burglar. He was wearing a black scully, like beanie thing. Okay. A black, uh, what are those, a peacoat yeah. with the collar popped. He had a- Pretty fly. Nope. A collar popped on a peacoat? Nope. That man's showing dick to children. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to articulate here. Um, yeah. And so, and he's wearing black gloves. He, the whole thing, his whole outfit. In San Diego? In San Diego. Wow. In, inside, mind you. So, there's glass, but you can't see him. And also, you know, the, the sun is high and there's a reflection, so you can't really see through the glass, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, he bangs up. Okay. All right. Things happen. How fast was the door moving? I mean, my mom is 70, so not fast. Really? Yeah, just a little. And he wasn't like nine feet away from the door. He was like two feet. So the door didn't move that much. Mm. And it didn't hit him. It hit his foot. Like, you know, you put your foot into his shoe. Of course, yeah. So he stops. He turns. So the door is, we can't get in yet. The door's only open like a foot. We can't get in. He's standing there. He turns, looks through the glass, stand, like looks at us for, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. For like five seconds. And in real time, five seconds is an eternity. I'm sitting there like, what's what's happening? And then he goes through the glass, because the door's open a little bit. He goes, oh, so you didn't see me, I guess. <laughs> to my mom. She's 70. I'm heated immediately. Don't talk to my mom like but that. It, but it wasn't like a sarcastic tone. It was like for real, like. For real. Oh, I'm not, I'll, I'll go again. Ready? Oh, guess you didn't see me there. Like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is why your boy doesn't own a gun. I'd have been de- <laughs> I'd have been in jail. Dog, I ate all like my like certain, not my certain, like my, my instincts to defend my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do- I Turned mean, into a Geico <laughs> caveman real quick. Quick. Yeah. So, and then he, at this point, guys, we're still not in the restaurant. And do you have your dog with you? No, okay. Oh, uh, I was going to say, that'd be so funny. No, no. Captain was already in the already in. She made it through the the one foot gap. Hilarious! No, she was already in with my brother. My okay. brother and her, his friend were already in the restaurant. They got a, a table before my mom and I got in there. And they had your dog. Captain. Mm. Did you? So you're outside, just you and your mom. It hits yep. the, hits the door <clears throat> shoe. He goes again. Whoa! Guess you didn't see me there. Doesn't let us in for another two seconds, and I'm behind my mom, and I take my glasses off. Oh! The glass. Come off! Well, you, you think that you'd take him off and put him back on. <laughs> no, I feel like a superhero. <laughs> you ever, you ever like, you ever see, like, it's one of those things, like, 
oh, I must not like, what the fuck did you say? Like of one course. of those, like, like, so I think yeah, every guy taking a shirt on, on a bar fight, <laughs> you want to fight me now? Here's my areolas. What yeah, about now? I don't want to see it. I, it I'm you have always, a happy trail? No. You Do shave you? it? I'm not on that 70s show. Why would I have a funny? Yeah. Yeah. I shave it too. You shave it, Jack? Did this guy yeah, have one? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't. You said areolas and I just thought I didn't. Oh, I never yeah. asked you if you had a happy trail. I forgot. No. I have like 12 body hairs. I thought the happy trail was going down from your belly button. It is. Yeah. Okay. But Trevor's it, touching his tits right now. So it's, oh, oh, no. I was just feeling the felt on the sweater. Oh, okay. Unrelated. He's on Molly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I have one. You have one? Yeah, mine's kind of a jungle right here. Whoa, yeah, but but, it, right. but it's not like you go in and you trim just. Oh the, no 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 no. Yeah, here, you just let it, you just let it go. You want to hear something? You what? You I do. I used to trim it, so it was like a straight line. Like I you literally would give my shit like a lineup. Well, we know this. All right. <laughs> you had like nineteen tongue piercings, one, a puka shell necklace for each <laughs> <two>. necklace. <laughs> Are you counting at me right now? <laughs> I thought you were. <laughs> no no. You, you said, should have counted at the dude at the door. Oh, I was pissed. All right. One. Just counting oh. for strangers. Sir, we don't have any oat milk. One, <laughs> two, what is he counting for? Three. As long as oh. you get louder per number, you don't have to stop ever. Four, <laughs> 31. <laughs> Just keep, yeah, yeah. sir, what are you counting to? <laughs> well, that is a scary thing to do. That, I mean, you start, if you, Dude, start, if you, if you start counting like one. No, counting down's crazier. You're right. Because what's going to happen <laughs> after that? Starbucks, sir, we don't have any whipped cream. 10. What? <laughs> Nine. Eight. We'll find the whipped cream. Dude, you're right. Counting down is crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to have turbulence on this flight. Ten. <laughs> oh, <no>. Nine. <laughs> the only time counting down isn't scary <laughs> is on a race. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless you're running like at 800 into the Olympics, then you're really scared. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. It's a bit, by the way. It fucking definitely it. It's really funny. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, sorry, guys. Back to this goddamn story. Welcome so to Sip Socks. You, you remove the sunglasses. Oh, I, rem I, I, I move. I get in front of my mom and the door. And I go, do we have a problem? Ooh. Oh, dog, I was heated. That's the first thing out of your mouth? First thing. I'm, I'm because, because I'm telling you, man, like, if anyone talks... And maybe you guys have been in a situation, but anyone talks a little off to your mom, son, I will l like. Right, oh, of course. Of course I, I course, mean, course. I was like, I was on like I, I'm I'm usually on the edge, but I was you. Yeah, me. <laughs> but I, I mean, a man wearing a black trench coat, head to toe, didn't care by himself in San Diego, probably ain't doing well. D I don't care. Good. Don't talk to my mom. So like bumps that. in. You're like, we have a problem. Then Take what? my glasses off as Boom. I say it. Do we have Big a problem? Big shot, blow. Oh, yeah. 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 Do we have a problem? And Do you then, have a problem with the co-host of the number six rated podcast on Spotify? You should have that. What if I hit him with that shit? Showed him And then he shows he's number five? Fuck. Hit what him. The? Got him. All right. So, <clears throat> do we have a problem? Boom. We're in. He doesn't say anything. Of course. I'm still outside. He's Neo from the Matrix. Hot, close. He hit me the red pill. So... I go, do we have a problem? He doesn't answer. And then, and then another second goes by. I go, are you going to let us in? And then he finally moves away. I open the door. And then he goes, then he goes, so again, guess you didn't see me. He says it again. Yeah. I respect I am, it. Dog. I, <laughs> Double down. I love how you're on his side. This, is, this sounds better than the Jake Paul fight, honestly. <laughs> we have to talk about that because I know nothing. I saw I one anything. highlight. Um, so he says it again and then I go, and then, and then he goes quickly switches and then goes, oh, so what, do you guys want to, do you guys need a table? And then he I, said that to you? Yes. Did he work there? Yeah, dude, he worked. Oh, I didn't tell you this. He, Wait, he worked, worked there? I found out right then that he worked there. He was the hostess at the fucking place. The hostess what? at the restaurant. Was this That's why he was standing there in front of the door. Was this a spaghetti factory? Funny. It sounds very spaghetti factory vibes. No, it was like a. Do you ever go to a restaurant and they have a wait that's longer than the quality of their food? Hooters. Went to, What's happening? Well, went to spaghetti factory in fucking Oklahoma. Spaghetti factory is um, real? I thought you were joking. Oh, very it's a real, real place. Very cool. I don't know. I've it's never been there. We, went to, we had a show there months ago. Went to at 3 p.m. just to go get some food before the show. Yeah. And they go, oh, it's about an hour 30 wait. No. Yeah. Because here's the thing. There's a store across the street. I can make spaghetti in my own goddamn factory. 
Yeah, you got to serve spaghetti. But hour and a half, like like when they say it with the confidence, <laughs> looking me in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be an hour and a half. That's not what your, your guy's food is microwave. Yeah. Boil water, spaghetti, yep. meat, factory. No. <laughs> well, like you should be able to be like, uh, your honor, I object. 40 minutes. Here's the thing though. In their defense, they're obviously very good at making spaghetti. You've had bad spaghetti and you've had good spaghetti. I'm just saying. I get that. But at 3 p.m. on a Saturday. Was it 3 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. That's a problem. God damn. What's up, guys? Today's ad is brought to you by Fume. Be smart. Don't start. Kick the habit. That was bars. Yeah. Uh, but put it out before it puts you out. Yeah. All phrases you've heard a hundred times, yet we still continue to have bad habits. We all have bad habits. Yeah, we do, dude. I got personal struggles all the time. I don't. But what about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Our sponsor, Fume, is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us, okay? Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you Trade out your negative habit for a positive one, okay? And Fume is not a vape. Nope. It's a non-electric device designed to transform your negative habits. Uh-huh. Yo, instead of pods filled with potentially harmful chemicals like vape, Fume uses core infused with plants. Like peppermint, cinnamon. Yeah. And they're fun. They're like, they're like, oh, they it gives me like a, a, a candle type feel where you're like, God, oh. yeah. like you ever smell a nice Christmas home? Put that in my lungs. Yeah, dude. I feel like I'm at a god darn spa. Okay. That's the thing that I love about the fume is it's like, it's such a good way to replace like bad habits. Cause for me, it's, I have a lot of stupid ones. I've been eating, uh, uh, crackers and cheese Whoa. like a motherfucker while I work. And I go through <laughs> this hell? whole tub of, it's called Borson cheese dip. No, it's not. I'll go through no the whole thing. No freak out. It's called something. But so just having the fume there to use instead of yeah. that has been a real game That's changer. That's crazy. So look, we all have bad habits, whether it's cheese or other things. <laughs> It's but the easiest way to stop a bad yeah, habit is to is, switch dude. to a positive one. And Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. It's Fume's goal to make sure switching is easy and even enjoyable. Yeah, dude. They have thousands of five-star reviews from people just like you, you who have successfully switched from other solutions that just didn't work. Head to tryfume.com and use code SOCKS. That is code SOCKS to save 10% off uh, when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three whoa, unique flavors and the new version two fume to help kickstart your positive habits. That's Trifume, T R Y F U M dot com, and use code SOCKS to save an additional 10% off your order two day. Kick them bad habits, get some positive ones. Cheese. God damn. Look, if I go to a Denny's on a Sunday, after Fuck it, what is it with church and Denny's that just, they got to have a brand deal. They got to be working together. Well, when you watch the Lord for an hour and a half, you want pancakes. You get hungry. Because what happens is you wake up and you're already late for the Lord. Yeah. Then you got to rush the Lord. And then and then you're eating the Eucharist and he's like, can you put some syrup on Dude, the Eucharist? imagine, oh, I'd be so pissed if I was God and I saw people yawning in church. Go to the, go Dude, to the 12 o'clock show. I did much worse than that. Sir, I told you I used to literally Touch play like, yeah. Yourself. Oh, no. That would be hilarious. In the confessional, just jacking off. <laughs> you, bless you me, Father. Dun, 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 bless dun. me, Father, for I have sinned. I just came in your fucking thing. What did you do in church? I would play this game in my head where I was like, would I fuck, would I not fuck? Well, I think every child does that. Yeah, and then I played, if I was in Desert Island and I only had to pick one girl in here, who would it be? Those are those kid games, though. That'll just keep your brain racing. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, and my dick hard. I've been hard in church many a times. Can you be? Yeah. I mean, you, ever fuck with, you ever fuck with Christianity so bad you get hard? Also, Jesus was hot. He's just on the cross sitting there with no shirt on. Happy trail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I was Jew. You never been in church? I have, but like with friends. Yeah. But but when I was there, I always felt so out of place that I tried to blend in. Yeah. Anytime I, I went to say, temple, I feel so weird. Yeah. I would just like try to say the most like Christian thing I could think of. What was that? Something about Tom Allen. Who's Sorry. Tom Allen? Sorry about something about yep. Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Yeah. He's a very yeah. Christian guy. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, <clears throat> so we get in. The guy works there. So I find he works there. He goes, where do you want the table? Or do you guys have a table? And I go, and I was so heated. You ever have just like so much anger that you're like, F just get me to the table so I don't assassinate your family. So I go, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. And 
And we start, well, it gets, gets. Wait, what wrestling is this? A, a chain? I, I wish I remember the name chain of it. Chain or one-off? It's a one-off. Oh, okay. I really wish I, well, maybe I would not say it. It doesn't matter. I don't remember what it is. It's in San Diego somewhere. I really, I really don't remember. So I just sit down. So I go, dude, just don't be a fucking idiot. Let's just like, sit down. You're fine. And then I sit down and I'm just sitting there fucking fuming. And this is the part that I'm not proud of, everyone. I get up. I go back to the guy. I go, what was that? I'm I'm fucking heated, dude. I go, what was that? I was like, my mom was just dot com. A promo hundred, code one hundred. <laughs> I go, what was that? I go, my mom was just trying to get in the restaurant, and you were in the way. And he goes, I wasn't in the way. And I go, what, dude? You were in the way. We were outside for ten seconds, and you, and and we try, and you wouldn't let us in. Uh -huh. And he goes, it wasn't ten seconds, man. I was like, buddy. It was 10 seconds. And then he looks at me. He goes, listen, I have autism. And then I go, uh. and then I go, <laughs> and then I go, I got autism too. <laughs> no, you no. didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> I... Well, I yell in a That's restaurant. That's what's funny about arguments. Yeah. Like somebody goes, I yep. got a gun. You go, me too. And then you start digging yep. in your glove compartment. There's nothing yep. in there. There's big five gum, but you're like pretending. Yeah, there's a lot the of napkins. Facade. Yep. Yep. I yelled, I have autism too. And then I go, I have autism too. Now what? <laughs> and then he goes, what? I mean, I go, all right. This was for sure a spaghetti factory. This was for <laughs> sure a spaghetti. Here's the thing though. You, I, Michael, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, in, when you're mad, you say anything. He could have been like, I'm blind. And you're like, bitch, I'm blind. Me I'm too. ambidextrous. Yup. I, I just, yeah. You say dumb shit when you're fucking mad. And of I just course. said it. And, uh, and at that point, the manager comes over. And then he goes. He had autism. <laughs> <laughs> he he kind of looked like Tony Soprano. Like kind of a big looming guy. Very nice, but a big looming guy. And then he goes, is everything okay? And at that point, I've worked How in. How were you yelling? Uh, when I say, when I yelled the thing, why do you let yelled. stuff like this get to you, dog? I'm telling you, let me finish the manager part and I'll get to that yeah, part. Yeah, because so the jerk so, that cock of yours. Of course, the manager comes over. He goes, everything okay? And I've worked at a hundred thousand restaurants. I've had a hundred thousand jobs, and I'm not. I don't. I in no way am I ever trying to like hurt someone's like ability to make a living. And I was like, oh no, dude, it's it's fine, it's fine, sir. We're we're totally fine. Mm -hmm. And then and then I go and then I go, oh, this is on me. It's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, whatever. Because again, I don't want to get this guy in trouble because I'm fucking lunatic, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we had just a weird interaction. Could you have beat his ass? Yes. What about the manager? Nope. Yep. That's manager why there's a change. There's a change. Hilarious. He was so big. He was like Tony Soprano for real. Yeah. Yeah. So that, oh, so to get to your question. So I went back to the table and my, my brother and my mom have, you know, been in my family for years. So they know, they know this is like my behavior. And so they were like, they were, were like, you my, holding Greta or no? No, Gigi was, was still, so to, still at the table. I know I should have been. So, you're, yeah. so I'm back at the table. And so they're just kind of like having a conversation just to like allow me to calm down. Because it's like, this is it, right? It's like I'm a very logical, self-aware person until I get in that mode. And I just need to be out of that mode for a second. And then I, everything, then reality comes rushing back. And I'm like, what am I doing? And that's exactly what happened. Post-stress regret. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Post, post, I, I, yeah. It's, it, so I was sitting there, I'm like, and exactly what happened. Two minutes later, I'm like, what am I doing? The gentleman was in front of the door. He gets startled by getting hit by the door. Was his reaction fine? No, but like, who cares? Mm -hmm. It's like, n none of this, n in the grand scheme of things, none of this matters. The food was good. I'm with my family. I'm driving down to go grab my sister from a physical therapy. I, I get to see my family. Mm -hmm. We're on a great podcast. My life is great. I got great friends. Like, what? What? Why am I like gonna ish like risk it all for this? Because I don't know. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, and so that all like came back, and I, I really, and I, I've said. I mean, how many fucking these type of stories have said on this goddamn podcast? Like, I need to Seven. like reel it in. Like, it's just, yeah. and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. I used to be that way. Yeah. I'm what perfect happened? Now. I literally just, I don't want to be that guy. I see I see other people freak out and I'm not perfect. I, I still have these moments, yeah. right? There was a time in the Austin airport, like a year <clears> ago. <throat> I There's a guy at a fucking juice bar. Pussy, me, a juice bar. <laughs> and the guy is like too far of a gap. Like me to Gabe, like from the register. So I go and he goes, hey, there's a line. Oh yeah, I remember that. First of all, stand closer. 
Yeah. Second of all, tone, big yep. tone guy. How big you, tone guy. How you enter the conversation is how you're going to get it back, which is what happened with this. Yes. Because if he was like, oh, I guess he didn't see me there. <laughs> LOL, zoink, scoop. You'd be like, yeah, this guy's fucking. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Or just like, dude, if, <laughs> in, in any other situation. If, tone. If, yeah. If anyone in this situation, if I was the dude and I got hit by a door, I, I, I would be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm in front of the goddamn door to get into the restaurant. It's the same thing I do with internet comments. I go, this is a projection of you. Yep. You're having a bad yep. day. Yep. You're stressed out. Yep. I just laugh about it. Yeah. There's still comments that get to me all the time. Uh, I mean, stop yelling about my nose. I get it. But there's <laughs> things where like, if that happens, I go, this is fucking, I like, I just like laugh. Cause there's nothing funnier than when somebody's mad. Like if that guy's like this, you didn't see me there. And you're like, oh, okay, dude. Yeah. And that's it. I know. And you just it, dismiss it. The the number one thing, cause I was actually like dissecting this, dissecting this when I was driving back from San Diego the the main like catalyst for me to be this angry was it my like instinct to de like defend my mom. Okay. That's that's Very fair. that's why I went from zero to a thousand. If I was alone, I probably would like relax, man. And then I would have went all my day. I definitely would have said okay. something, but I wouldn't yeah, have definitely different with the mom. It's because also like he didn't <clears throat> he didn't say the first comment at me. He said it at my mom. Yeah, and you're I'm not like, in the wrong. Saying right. you had autism back. Funny, <laughs> <laughs> funny, uh, hilarious. What if you like actually did go get checked and then you find out you are? Son, and then, I do. I, there's no way I don't. And then there's somebody like in the future. How did you find out? You're like, oh, was that a cheesecake factory? <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know. I get it. Yeah. You're, uh, nobody's in the wrong. I think you've been a little stressed out lately. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should get into that next. Maybe this is a therapy session for me, also. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I, I have a funny story, but we. we <laughs> But we'll, we'll bring it all around. That's what all it right. is. It's stiff socks. Yeah. Hey. Calm. Uh, yeah. Uh, my store doesn't involve calm. It could. But nobody was in the wrong, but nobody was in the right. Correct. So you're just headbutting, and then yes. who gives in first? Yes. You, Tony Soprano, beat my ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tony Soprano would have fucking I mean, it's just so me. funny that that was your rebuttal. When you're mad, like, yep. there's nothing funnier. Like, that's, I'm, honestly, I'm just scared of, like, if I were to have, like, a, a freak out, a public freak out somewhere, Disneyland, yep, airport, yep, yep. and then that's online. Like, think about, like, Bagel Boss, all those guys, that you're yeah. not that guy, pal. All those, like, people are seeing your, your most heated moment online, and now you're just a meme. When you yeah. just couldn't get your shit together. And when you're heated, man, like, that's not you. Imagine people show up to your shows in San Diego. They're like, dude, that's the, yep. are we going to have a problem guy? Yeah, awful. Right as you come out, they're putting the sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, they'll take them off. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's just. Yeah, it's. Because there's lunatics out there. And, that, and that's what I was going to. Yeah. The next thing is because I don't know in any of these situations. The waiting outside in 7-Eleven for the guy to come out. The fights in fucking T-Mobile. All this kind of stuff. Like, dude, I don't... Who who, who do I think I am? I think I'm the fucking transporter all of a sudden. Like, yeah. what am I even doing? Dude, I mean... Jean-Claude Van Damme? People are insane. People every insane. year... Every year, the night <clears throat> after Thanksgiving, get shot over a flat screen TV at a yep. Best Buy. Yep. TV's like $79. A flat screen? Motherfuckers get killed over a goddamn Keurig. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, I was just saying back when I, when I was like 21, 22 and drinking, like going to bars every weekend with my friends. I like a guy who worked at a bar would like nudge my shoulder and I'd be like, "What time are you off work? <laughs> <laughs> Meet me by the flagpole." That's a real thing. There's a bar in Santa Monica. Yeah, my friends always bring the story up. A guy like you know where the 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 bar has like the lift up yep, thing yep, to go yep, in yep, and yep, out. Yep. It's super crowded. And I'm standing like half in that, just trying to get a drink. The guy goes, "Hey man, you can't stand here." And I go, "All right, all right man." And then right. And then I'm like barely, like maybe like two inches. Is that big? Two inches next to this door. And the guy goes, hey, man, I told you you can't stand here. And I go, are we going to have a problem, bro? What time are you off work? This this was years ago. Oh, all right. Years ago. All right. And I, and the guy's like, what? I go, what time are you off work? Yeah. Like I was going to be <laughs> drunk, go get a bacon wrap hot dog. I'm like, oh, guys, it's 155. I got to go beat somebody's ass real quick. Hilarious. And then he goes, I'm a bartender. You go, I am too. Dude, bartender <laughs> would beat my ass. He's fucking tossing oranges doing that with them oh yeah lighting things on fire never need to but but whatever it is it's just i i was a man who didn't seek help and i was just pushing yeah emotions but the problem is i i am in the process of help and i just needed more i mean of i course. actually i actually have a new therapist and those are the those are the Ooh. two yeah he's great nice he's great yeah um not great enough we just started. san diego <laughs> no i'm kidding um yeah but yeah, I mean, listen, you know, exactly. To echo your point, no one was in the right here. I also just need 
to have a, 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 a like a Zen moment in those moments to be like, Michael, stop. What's actually happening here? You feel disrespected. You feel like he's yelling at your mom, which is not right. Yeah. But like, why escalate this? Were you on edge pre showing to the restaurant? Were you hungry? Were you like trying to like, um, I, like, you been ha- I mean, obviously you've been stressed, but like, have, have you been, cause that like, like I always think back, I go, oh, that makes sense. I had two hours of sleep. It was 6 a.m. at the airport. I didn't eat. I didn't have any like coffee. I mean, we were running a little, like I, we just, we just drove from San Diego. It was like two and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. And we had like, f- we had about 20 minutes to eat before we had to get to my, fi- my sister's conference because she was presenting. So we wanted to mm. watch it. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a little like time okay. crunch a bit. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't find parking. So I was a little irritated about that. So it was like coming in with a lot of like angst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for sure that added to it. Um, yeah. I think it's just two people who have building points. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I honestly just think if you're ever feeling that you go like, this is what I do before I go yeah, like, please. to the airport. Because it's just, it's, it's hectic. It's chaotic. Yeah, I'm yeah. super tired. I'm just like, it's going to be a lot of people. It's just people, whatever it is. And if somebody's at your face at 6 a.m. doing a video, like, yo, what fucking white claw? You're like, hey, that's. This is what it is. That, that's what it is. Or nobody could even bad an eye at you. Or it could be somebody spills a peanut butter sandwich on you. I don't know how you do that. How do you do that? Slowly. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! But you just, you just go, so you're getting to that, you're getting to the restaurant, you go, dude, I'm fucking. You're already prepped. I'm on edge, whatever. I'm going to get food. I'm with my family. Yeah. You set the great. tone, you, you put pre- it down. Yeah. Yeah. You prep yourself. Little emotional it's a prep little before thing. You, yeah. It's like the same thing when athletes hit the top of the tunnel before they leave. Yep. Just like do the mental real quick before you leave. Be like, all right, I'm stressed. Even if nothing happens the next time you go to a restaurant with your family, be like, well, there could be a piece of shit working there. Yep. And he's not. He's not a piece of shit. No, he's not a piece of shit. No one's a piece of shit. Yeah. It's just context makes you a piece of shit sometimes. Of course. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it wasn't personal. It was just like. But it felt personal. It felt like he was yelling at my mom directly, like he, like he, right. like he wanted to have sex with her, and I want to have sex with her. <sighs> Guys, we'll be right back. <laughs> <clears throat> I would just like to say I'm over the rain. Enough. I, Me too. It, it, what do we do, and guys? Like, in I, LA, it's raining like a mother. I know that people who live in Seattle are like dude, shut the hell up. I, I want to jump off the Clarkson building. I understand that. But it's raining here. Dude, there's trees every... There's just full-blown like trees just in the middle of the ground and people are just like driving around it. Yeah. It's... I don't know. Here's here's when I know it's been raining too long. Got off the freeway getting here today under the overpass. I saw a man with a torch and a uh, crack pipe lighting up and I go, that looks kind of nice. <laughs> looks kind of warm sitting there, you know? Dude, if I, that's going to bring me warmth. Yeah. I saw one too. Crack pipe. Yeah. I saw Big. a crack pipe. I don't see them a lot. Really? I, I, I don't. I don't. I've, I've seen probably like 10 in my life. But yeah, dude, got, maybe we saw the same guy. Was he on where? Was he on where? That's not even a fucking question. You it was exit over. Oh, but but yeah. essentially, this man's staying warm. Up, shut it off. Does crack make you want to do things? Yes. Oh, okay. Break every glass window near you in a five foot radius. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't want to try it one time. Like, if my house is dirty. Crack? Yep. Yeah. Is crack one of those things? Because everyone, you know, how everyone's like, you do crack one time, you'll be fucking selling a toaster to your mom's uncle, or is it like you you, you got to do it a lot? I think crack is one of the ones where it is kind of actually like that. Like oh, it's, once you start smoking crack, it's like all you're going to do is smoke more crack. So it's got to be so really good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great ROI on their holy on shit their back end. Oh my Return god, the on, profit margin. Oh yeah. Good. Isn't crack just like a, a form of cocaine? Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, you smoke it. Crack rock. All right. Cocaine? Maybe I should do that. No. Oh. No. All right. You would have snapped that guy in half. <laughs> Honestly, he was the only person I've ever seen that was shorter than me, and I was excited. Well, that's what we're getting to. It's <laughs> 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 two guys with short man syndrome. What is that? <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm kidding. Dude, you're no. not short. You give yourself... You, I'm thinking like, remember yeah. Bagel Boss? Who was that guy? Yeah, he was Bagel like 5'2", yeah. and he he like lost... You ever see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost his mind in, somewhere in New York. Like, that's my biggest fear. Yeah. You're yelling because they put the wrong type of milk in your Frappuccino? Yeah. Frappuccino, man! Bagel Boss was doing cameos. He was doing crazy bags. Yep. No, he was not. I know. I was just trying to help him out. <laughs> Um, but I will say, um, you know, been a little stress. People have been asking questions a bit. Yeah. The Just floor like, is yours. The floor is mine. The floor is always mine. Come. Floor general. Yeah. Aye, aye, captain. Um, 
not to make this whole fucking podcast about me, but I would like to let everybody know your boy, Mama is no more. That she's sounds alive. Like she's dead. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's alive. That sounds like she's died. Uh, she's alive. She's great. Uh, we had a part ways. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, and yeah, so your boy's out here single now. Uh, but she just like to say she's an amazing woman. Uh, very supportive, very intelligent, very funny. We got along great. Our chemistry was incredible. Um, nicest lady. So nice. So caring. The, the, she was like so full of empathy. It was insane. Um, but it's just, it, it kind of boiled down to the schedule, man. Like the schedule is, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, more than anybody here, like the schedule to have someone else in your life, our schedule in terms of like stand up touring and the yeah. podcast and all kind of stuff. It's, it's so it's like hard. selfish to expect somebody <clears throat> would just like be, you're like, Hey, I'm gone 80%. And then yeah. when I'm here, I want to rest. It's like selfish to like take up somebody's time and that to be like, I like, I want you to have so much. Like, I yeah. want you to have weekends and not worry about where yeah. your man is. And, yeah. That, and you want to have fun. So we're not just sitting around waiting for your yeah. call or how's Virginia? You know, it's. Yeah. That was, that was the main thing we got to. It's like, she is such a incredible person. So she just deserves like to be in a relationship where she can acquire m- more from, from their partner and, and give not, that person and, and, re- and have it. Yeah. Have mm-hmm. it like kind of an equal exchange. And it just felt like, you know, she, you know, she was kind of like acquiescing to my schedule a lot. Yeah. And at some point you get very fatigued and then it's like, dude, you just want to be in a, a more like, it's not a kind of steady relationship. Of course. It's not so. You want to just go to the beach with your friends. Correct. And it's hard because everyone has their boyfriend or girlfriend. They're hanging up playing Frisbee. And you look to your left and it's Gigi. It's Gigi. For real. Yeah. And great dog. But you're and like, I, I want. Yeah. I, you're like, I want that companion. Yeah. I want that person. Yes. It's hard. Man. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't so, know. I mean, yeah. I mean. The I, answer is like they, they come <clears throat> on the road with you, but then they're sacrificing their yep. personal life and, and their yeah. work life to exactly. travel with you. And, and it's then, like, what's a happy medium? Correct. And then, and they feel like even when they travel Hookers. with you, <laughs> 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 and they feel like even when they travel with you, they are, you know, uh, what you said, sort of like sacrificing their life. But then they also feel like they're just living, they're like tagging along in your life. Right. And also right, doesn't right, make right. you feel good. So, right. um, yeah, I mean, dude, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we, we gave it, we gave it a shot, dude. We were in like couples therapy and that was going great. Yeah. But like, we kind of got down to the point where it's like, my schedule is not going to be different. It might be worse. And it's just, you know, to boil it all down, it just wasn't, it just wasn't fair to, it wasn't fair to her to like, right. tr- you know, try to just make so much sacrifices, so much sacrifice day in and day out, day in and day out, day in and day out. And then. You know, and then I come home on a, on a fucking Sunday night and I'm yeah. tired and I got to come here and record and then I'm out Wednesday. Right. It's just like. Yeah. Yeah. From like Tuesday from like three to 4 p.m. to be like, let's catch up. Yeah. What's up with you? She's like, well, I'm just kind of waiting for you. And you're like, Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you, the, yeah, it's so. Yeah. So, that, I mean, like, you know, it's just not, it's not the most, uh, you know, interesting uh, kind of turn of events or not interesting. Like just uh, the way it happened is not so like interesting or whatever. But I just kind of felt like those are in good terms. Yeah, dude. It's not like it's yeah. very understanding. It's not like a blind side. No, those are the I mean, you know, my last relationship, you guys face know, there was fucking blind side over FaceTime. I mean, that was horrendous. Yeah. Um, but this one was very, very mutual. It was very adult. We handled all the logistics of like moving out. Like ve- dude, she did the sweetest thing in the fucking world, bro. She this like because I was on tour and she, you know, was moving her stuff out and a lot of a lot of the stuff in the apartment was hers mm-hmm. or that was shared. But I mean, I, I told her, I was like, take anything you want. We'll, we'll figure out. I mean, just I, it doesn't really matter to me. So what she took, dude, she put together a PowerPoint presentation of what she, literally I'm not joking. That's of, so nice of what she took, took a picture of it. I wish took, and then gave me links on where to go to replace it. Damn. Dude, when she sent me that, I was like, you this I did is, not have that. <laughs> 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 but I still, love, you know, still yeah. love her greatly, dude. I mean, like that. I was like, dude, this is <clears throat> because also, like, she left my family. My family's in town right now. My family was coming in like four days after and Mama took about... all the stuff. Yeah, they they knew okay. it, but but Mama wanted them to like, you know, the apartment to be like an apartment when my family got here. Oh wow! So she was like, you know, she's texted me intermittently to be like, oh, do I need help with this and that, whatever, just to make my family more comfortable. And she's, dude, I mean, she's the best lady and 
it it's definitely sad and will continue to be sad but i do feel i feel very happy for both of us that we made this very adult choice and not be like oh no we can do it oh no we can do it and then it's nine years on the road yeah so how do you feel how do you feel um dude i i i honestly feel good um there is like a big void just in terms of like having like actual like intimacy of course because you you see them every day correct you see them every day you talk to them every day like getting 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 un tethered to that routine of like you finish a show you had a good set this new tag worked and you call them oh my god so remember that joke she's like oh yeah oh my god that worked and like someone that actually if a video does well or the podcast is fun or like you know all that kind of stuff there's no one there now to i mean i'm getting stories yo i cut it she wants to rip her ears off um (laughs) but uh and eat them she's fat um (laughs) beat me to it i did i got you Yep. But but yeah, that's that's a that's a thing that like is is missing. And like real talk, man, like, you know, love is great. Love is great. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's you know, so when you don't when that piece of you is like gone, there's obviously like advantages or whatever. I can kind of really just focus on what I'm doing. But that type of stuff is like and it's been a, a short amount of time, so I'm assuming other emotions are gonna boil up. Um, but those that I so ultimately to answer your question, I feel good. Um, but there obviously there is some like like a little pieces of you know some, some of the void is is still is uh, is missing you know yeah um but uh but yeah i'm uh again to review myself i think we made it a, a very wise right adult decision and preemptively before people start resenting people that was the main thing i was like i don't want to continue on this relationship and then in two years you resent the shit at me because we should have done this two years ago gotcha that was the main thing um <clears throat> so yeah, that's uh that's the that's the crux of it. I wish it was uh you know, I wish there was like, you know, a Bengal tiger craziness involved. On the bright side. What's up? Man cave, man apartment. Man apartment. Turn the whole bit <clears throat> put a neon basketball hoop in the kitchen. <laughs> shit that doesn't fit. Go bangles. Fuck them. Who, Who cares? Who gives a shit? Put a slip and slide into the bathroom. Oh yeah. Who cares? I'll do anything, dude. You know? Did you decorate anything? Did you add anything? Let me tell you something, man. You know that uh Spotify Spotify? Yeah. You know that Spotify yeah, yeah, yeah. neon sign? Yeah. That shit was underneath the bed. You know where it's coming? Oh, it's getting hung. All the all the all the art that I loved in my old place was just not on the walls. You know why? Because she didn't like it's it. It's just coming back. Oh, it's already back. Oh, really? Oh, it's back. It's just like Michael. <clears throat> oh, dude. Michael. Yeah. It's you again. Oh, dude. Hey, it's buddy. Back. Your boy. <laughs> your boy. <laughs> you know what? It's like a LeBron poster. Hey. Hey. Remember me? It's <laughs> single Michael. Your boy bought. A mustard yellow accent chair. Well, I'm on her side. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wait? What is? It, can we look it up? Uh, yeah. Mustard yellow accent chair. <clears throat> go to go to Wayfair. Mustard yellow accent chair. You like mustard? I love it. No, uh, the taste. Oh fuck no! What? What the? You fuck? like mustard? I love mustard. How are you gonna get mustard? Don't you add you? No, mustard no. Is mustard yeah, you're not allowed to mustard like mustard and a color? pickle on a sandwich. Pickle's great. Mustard's trashola. You like mayo. Mayo doesn't have any flavor. That's not it. Um, it's not. I can tell you exactly which one it is if you bring it up. Mustard yellow. Because because you know that. Remember the dining room chairs that I had. Yeah. Those. Uh. No. No. See. Oh, hold on. Go up. Top. Though. Right there. Nope. Right there. What do you mean? Over. Right. Please. (laughs) Stop. Yeah. Click that one. Uh huh. So those are my (laughs) dining room. Those are my dining room chairs. Not the fucking pink ones. Mustard yellow ones. Right. Um, those are my dining room chairs. Okay. Those. So f- five of those. <laughs> no, these are sick. Thank you. Yeah. So those nah, are in my, those are in my dining room. That shit dumb. I'm gonna take some DMT and stare at it. <laughs> yeah. So those are those oh, are my dining room. Thing. Yeah. And then and then so I got a mustard yellow accent chair right next to the TV, so everything has like a cohesive feel. Ooh. Nice. Shit looks fire. I'm gonna come by. You should. Good, dude. I went to a vintage store. I got a bunch of I got a bunch of like kind of rustic accoutrement. What is that? Just like little doodads and shit. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude. I need it was some so doodads. Fun. Yeah, you I need yeah. to put shit. I just have a bunch of open spaces. Um, dude, I can show you. We can go. I will go again. Please it's go so, to Home Goods. I fuck so heavy with Home Goods. Dude. Home Goods. Nah, that doesn't work. Isn't that crazy how one letter goes from ho to home? That M is really carrying a lot of weight. The M is the word. No M. Mm. Getting your dick sucked behind a fucking shell gas station. Uh, it doesn't sound too bad right now. It, now it sounds great. Well, with the rain, maybe. No teeth. Um, 
Did you guys see this? What? Uh, someone sent us this. This is a, a house that was on Zillow that uh, apparently is a sex dungeon. What? Good. So this is the outside. Make it an house. Airbnb. Oh, why, first of all, can we talk about the the, the uh, what it was called on the top? Solar panels look like the Red Cross it or looks like weed a, dispensary. Oh, it, weed dispensaries it, took the Red Cross and made it green. Like weed, like we did can it. save you. Just okay. Yep. Red Cross. Green I'm, weed. I love it. Exteriors wholesome. Yeah. yeah. Pretty normal house, right? There we yeah. go. And then here we come in, and this is all photographed professionally for the real estate listing. No. Dude, I want somebody they to take photos of my there? dick. Yeah, for... this was on. It's not on Zillow anymore. They took down the pictures, but uh, this was on Zillow. Yeah. This is what my apartment is going to turn into now that I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, uh, so what do we have here? <laughs> What's we, that? We got yeah, this some... does look like the break room of Spencer's gifts. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually where you like, put your like keys like by the front door. There's handcuffs. There's a little slappy thing. What? Dude, oh, people this... be getting fucking fisting in this bitch. Dude, the, the oh, sex swing. I just sleep in that. That just first of all, it looks like a, where you put IV. I don't even think I'd be able to figure out how to use it. What do you do? I think it's the whole purpose. What's the kinkiest thing you two ever done? The kinkiest? Yeah, like handcuffs. <sighs> I haven't even I never, done that. I, I don't. That type of like bringing in like uh, fucking accessories. I don't really do that. I'm not against it, oh. but I've I've never I've I think I've handcuffed like a girlfriend like once. And then I like left her in Connecticut. I don't. I haven't heard from her since. But um, no, I I I haven't. I, I don't. I've never used like that type of stuff. I don't think I have either. It doesn't. I, I want to. Have you? Yeah. No, I've never used anything. Gabe. No. Nobody. Uh-uh. No, it doesn't. Call LAPD. Here's the thing. <laughs> if a, if a woman was like super into it and she's like, oh, this is like a fetish. Of course, like I would I would dabble. But I it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything for me. So I've never like. I've never been the one to be like, oh, let me bring it into the bed. Like, yeah, I just, I just, you know, it's Los Angeles. And if you're a bad actor, I can tell. Oh, handcuff me, daddy. I've been a naughty girl. I'm on the run from the police. Are Cut. you? Let's go again. Go from again. One. More believable. Do you need More panic. Go- I'm on the run from the cops. Ah, fuck yeah, you are. Yeah. Hot. I, I, tears. All right. Gotta believe it. Um, But the, I don't even know the purpose of the sex wing. Does it put you in like a better position to fuck or something? Or is it just like fun? I don't know. It's like Cirque du Soleil, but with cock. You said it really well. Cirque du Soleil. Is it Day Soleil? Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, let's do it. Sex this. Swing Wiki How. Ooh. How to use the Sex Swing on YouTube? Hell yeah. Uh, let's best. do the top ten Sex Swing positions. Okay. Oh, I'm in. Oh, oh we're this is great. Or I was like fucking in the Dead Sea, and so just everything's floating. Well, dude, this is good for people with no upper body strength. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Can we get one for the office? <laughs> You're about to say something so mean. <laughs> no, man. I just. What's funny is when you haven't fucked in a little bit, and then you do, and then you have abs, like your abs are sore. <laughs> oh, they hurt. So yeah. funny because you're like, "Damn, did I do abs yesterday?" No, my bad. I'm just sore from fucking. You know where I'm sore because I never work on my legs. I have tiny the legs of a chicken. Um, I, my legs get sore if I'm ever like in a, a position legs. for too long. Oh, my really? legs start shaking. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, I, my legs are not strong. What position are you in? Like if, if I'm like, if I'm Three like, point stance. if I'm on like one, like one leg like this and she's here and I'm kind of, I have to like ish hold my leg up a little bit. Like not like a full leg hold, but like up, yeah. like, like hold it up a little bit. My, my legs start to shake and I'm like legit sore the next day. Pretty embarrassing. Cause it's not like I'm doing like, yeah, it's not like I'm doing like a lot of. Yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not doing a, a tough mutter. <laughs> Correct. You guys ever get a Charlie horse while you're having sex? I have. Yeah. I've never got one. But this, I, I this sounds the like I'm bragging. Moment, yeah. This sounds like I'm bragging. I'm not. I like a lot of girls be getting. <laughs> here's the thing. So much so, dude. I I keep bananas in my side door. <laughs> Business potassium. You're lying. Of course, I'm lying oh about my banana God. thing. <laughs> Wait, what were you saying? You're like, you're like, he, he, what were you saying? Uh, I don't know. You were like, here's the thing. Uh, not to brag, but a lot of women. Yeah, that's what I said. A lot of women get, be getting Charlie horses during fucking me. Maybe they just want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Charlie! <laughs> All right, so next we've got doggy style. Dude, honestly, sex swing. fuck what I thought before. I'm getting a sex swing. This, this is great. Look at this position. I mean, how short I am. This is gonna have to be on the ground. Yeah, but um, pretty cool. Oh, is her hand on the wall? This is great. What the hell was I doing before? I don't know how to get her off that. Like you come and she's like, "Help!" And I'm like, "I'm in the shower." <laughs> Okay. Live back. Yeah. This, this is, is this is great. So it's just a floating bed. Yeah. Yeah. 
Bitch got hydraulics. Oh, dude, I'm really in. Queen. Ah! Oh, dude, you can. Wow. That's pretty sick. I'm horned up. I think he's dead. Hold yeah. on. What is this? Is well, he on the ground? After this, can you yeah. type in how many people a year die from yes. being suffocated by Coochie? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this That position is called Queenie. That's fucking awesome. The air rider. First of all, two uh, people in this swing? I See, I would be like, ah, my security deposit, I'm not getting back. Uh, that's exactly what I thought. It's going to fall. How strong are the bolts? That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine calling a task rabbit in there? <laughs> can you put this up there for what? Nah, come on, dude. You better find out. Yeah. Uh, drop your pants. <laughs> The cowgirl swinging. Dog, I'm into the last two business I'm not in. Like All the whole, the double, the double fucking. Oh, what's this one? Oh, the I mean, this is my favorite. <laughs> what? This is my favorite. That's hot. That's how you spell pterodactyl? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. you That's really not how you spell that? pterodactyl. I've never seen it on paper. Pterodactyl. Dude, that's not. That's no, that's not. I literally, you, you have, a, I have a whole joke on. No, it. no, I know, I know, I know. Paradise <laughs> is hard to spell, but you never spelled it out in your joke, so I didn't. I know, don't know how to spell it, <laughs> but I. <laughs> but I didn't do that. It looks insane to me. That's what I'm saying. That's in Gaelic. It's not a real fucking word. Yeah. <laughs> this that's cr whoever whoever the fuck named pterodactyl and was like, oh, it's spelled like this. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. How did you think it was spelled? Dude, I have no idea. I didn't look. Son, there's a Y in that bitch. That's the end. That's the final curveball. You think you get past the P? Good luck. Dude, first of all, Dak? Dactyl? Where's the last D? Pterodactyl? Or is it pterodactyl? They're man, all dead, man. I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> are they? Birds aren't even real. What's this one? Swing oh, 69. Fuck. That looks like a good stretch, too. Yeah. Look, I'm hungry. Huh? For what? Open up. That one, I feel like that you'd be in it. Just called the very open up. Because then I go down to that asshole. What's <laughs> up, so, man? I'm single. How you doing? Hey, <laughs> so you've been rubbing them out a bunch with your family? Yeah, dude, I was, I'm, honestly, I jerked off twice on my couch when my whole family's asleep. My life's in shambles. <laughs> Literally, dude, wait, wait. I. Yeah. Where'd you finish at? On my chest, like an American hero. And then I took I'm one of our stiff socks. No, 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 I'm on the couch, which may be worse. Wait. What? In the living room? Yes, sir. You're jerking off in your living room while your family is staying. Yep. This <laughs> is <laughs> unreal. And, and twice. And you came on your couch? No, on my Imagine you're. Worse. Imagine yeah. you op your mom opens the door. Michael, do you have any well, one I almost, got, I almost got caught from my brother last night. Gigi. How early so, are you touching yourself? What do you mean? Like 7.45 p.m.? No, we're talking about when we all went to sleep, like 12 a.m. How'd you almost get caught? So my brother wanted to sleep with Captain Gigi. So my oh. brother was like, so whatever, go sleep with Gigi. She normally sleeps in a hush, but my brother wanted to sleep. I said, cool, fine. Um, took her in the office where the futon is, <clears throat> and they tried to go to sleep. Gigi never slept in that goddamn room and never slept with my brother. So she was having trouble sleeping. I didn't know this. I was too busy jacking my cock. In the living in room. In the living room, dog. That's crazy. I pay rent in that bitch. I'll jerk <laughs> off in the fucking, I I'll jerk off inside the air fryer. I don't give a heck. That's crazy. <clears throat> I know. Um. Anyway, so my brother opens the door and comes out. And immediately, you've never seen a motherfucker put his cock away and slam the computer so goddamn fast. <laughs> I said, boot my head. You were gooning it? Son, gooning it. I had, I had my, my cell phone out, my goddamn computer, and my, my, my hand was soaked in baby oil. And he opens the door. Gigi comes running out. Gigi runs, jumps on the couch. The covers are over me, thank God. <sighs> and then my, my brother comes out and my brother goes, oh, sorry, dude, do you want... Do you want her to sleep out here because she doesn't want to sleep in the room? And I was like, oh, no, you can probably just bring her into, into the bedroom, put her in her cage. He's like, all right, man, no problem. Picked her up and then took her into the cage. Nothing really happened, but it was such a weird, like, oh, am I, am I in high school type of thing? Where, like, yeah, I would have just, like, gone to my car or something. Funny, funny, funny. I got to go grab a sleeping bag from the car. BRB. Why are you sweating? It's rain. It was a long run. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Or at least go to the bathroom or something. You hit him with a little classic Trev dog. Not off in the sink. I, sh I mean, honestly, dude, I, I'm not joking you. I, th I actually thought about it. How much longer are they there? Uh, Just tonight in the bounce. Okay. Tuesday morning. 
Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it was very, very funny. Uh, I'm here's the thing, dude. That sex wing, son. Like, I, here's the thing though. If you bring, you, do. you put you some bring, TRX logos on it. People are like, is that a sex wing? Workout. <laughs> funny P ninety X. What up? P ninety six. P ninety six. It's part of the tonal. Shut up. Yeah. Um, I will say though, how weird is it to bring a girl over after date number two? Say, hey, you want some Merlot? She turns and there's a sex swing in the fucking corner. I mean, you got to be um, uh, just a psycho. Do you? And then also, if it's not hung, when do you hang it? Like after the first fuck, second, you yeah, know? Yeah, but I mean, like, I'd say eight out of 10 girls would be like, what the fuck? That's kind of aggressive. But those two out of 10? Yeah. God, damn. She's going to be looking like you, like a goddamn gargoyle just hanging upside down like a bat on Christmas. Ah, <laughs> on Christmas? It gets cold. It's Jesus' birthday. Is it? On Christmas? Mm. Did you not know that? No. I don't know your dog's birthday. I'm sorry. No, you're talking about Christmas. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Not oh, Gigi. you heard Gigi. Sorry. What'd you say? I said Jesus. Oh, they said Gigi's. Nope. Jesus. Jesus Christ. You know him? He was I'm born Jewish. in a manger. That was he not was, towards anybody. That was towards <laughs> Jesus and Christianity as a whole. Um, <laughs> Hot take! Hot take! Well, uh, I can't find any uh, suffocation by vagina deaths. There is has been one reported uh, sex swing death. Someone uh, found their dad uh, oh. dead on a sex swing surrounded by empty poppers. So, dad went out Pop, and having a good time. Drop out. it, dude. That is... You know, I respect it. I do too, man. If you're going to go out in any type of way, that's how I want to go out. Motherfuckers have a heart attack? Right. I die because I slam poppers in my ass. Do you put them in your ass? Or do you just take no, them in your mouth? No, you just take them in your ass. Yeah, that affects. But that's maybe how he... Yeah. Wow. It's great. People, you know what's funny is on TikTok... Not funny, but TikTok people... You, you, I guess you can't say like dead or died on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So people say unalived. <laughs> unalived? Like, yeah, they'll, they'll wow. be like unalived themselves. And you're like, wow, that is... It's a very way funny it. way to say it. Scientifically. You know what's funny? Motherfuckers uh, uh, pass away from getting hit by vending machines. That's a it real happens. thing. Like, just get hit by, like, you, a vending machine falls on you because you wanted Doritos. You ever die in an obituary? You go, oh, what's caused death? Funyuns. <laughs> That's got to be horrendous. They're so good, though. They're so good. I, I feel like if it was falling on me last second, I'd be like, how do I get those peanut M&Ms? Oh, yeah. Are, are that your favorite M&Ms? No. Oh, Jesus. But you say die. some like white chocolate bullshit. What are my favorite M&M's? Yeah. The peanut butter ones, not yeah. peanut. The peanut okay. butter ones are good. That's fine. I, they're I, good, I, but they're, they're not Reese's Pieces. They want to be, but they're not. They're, they're not thick Reese's as hell, bro. They got fucking uh, elephantitis in that bitch. Thick boys. I used to be so scared of elephantitis when I was a kid. I always thought it was going to happen on my balls. Dude, they already have. I got a big dick. I don't. Well, but that's separate from balls. Yep. That's got to be upsetting to have gigantic balls and a very average cock. Yeah, looks like a like an old like tri school in the circus days. <laughs> the two massive two wheels in the back with the little <laughs> wheel. <laughs> um, yeah, Elephant Titus. I saw the, the movie. Uh, I think it's honestly called Elephant Titus as a kid. It's like a black and white movie. My mom showed it to me, and I was I literally thought I was gonna wake up with it. I didn't sleep for like three days. Yeah, it's scary. You ever seen the movie? No. Just a dude with literally Elephant Titus. It's fucking so scary. I think I heard about it. Yeah. Um. Do we so have yeah. any yeah. sock talk? Secret yep, yep, talk? Yep. Whole thing? Yeah, we got a sock talk today. This is from Jay. And Jay says, do you guys shave, wax, or trim your pubic hair? If so, how often? Or do you just let it grow wild? Uh, trim, any trim, trim. I trim with the manscape on the actual section. Mm -hmm. And then I take a razor and really like just line it up. So it's everything's pretty pristine around everything else. Like the asshole, the balls, in and around the shaft. You're yeah. shaving your actual asshole? Yeah. Scares I me. I get in there. With Gillette's? Uh, yeah, essentially. Yeah, I get in there. You just shave your butt cheeks? No, I'm not a hairy dude. No. Oh, I shave my butt cheeks. Not Bigfoot. You have hair on your ass cheeks? Yeah. It's I've seen really. it. I've seen it. Go birds. <laughs> I think he's turning into a bird. <laughs> uh, my buddy in high school had the hairiest butt I've ever seen in my life. You couldn't. Tell the he he pulled his pants down and you thought it was still pants. <laughs> it was crazy. It looked like he was wearing yoga Dude, pants so underneath his jeans. People that had like armpit hair in seventh grade. Me too. I didn't have shit. I Me used either. to just like pretend. I'd be like putting on de deodorant and be like, yeah, can't wait to smell bad later. No, no bo. I had like two. Smell like a Jolly Rancher. Oh, they're so good. I remember. I remember when the first pube 
that came in on my cock, and I was like, well, I'm a fucking senator. I was so excited. Yeah, give me a Harley Davidson and a bad bitch. That's what I'm saying. How do I fucking electoral college my goddamn self? Pubes. Someone sign me up. Pubes. Just one pube. I, I literally remember where it was in the dead center. I was like, someone fucking suck my cock. I'm five years old. <laughs> <laughs> Trev, do you shave your asshole? I just trim it up. What does that mean? Manscape. So in, so in, in your in ass. your butthole. <laughs> no, I just trim it up. What do you mean trim it up? Like in uh, your ass? This way can go down there. Take a little off the top. <laughs> oh, so there's hair, but you just you just trim it. Yeah. So it's not smooth. No. Okay. You don't shave your a- ass cheeks, though, right? No. No. I don't got. It. Yeah. I just do a little trimming trim. Yeah. If, you, if you're already down there. Yeah. Come on. You got to. God put it on there for a reason. Why do we have asshole hair? Protect. From what? <laughs> bugs. bugs. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a podcast. I don't know. <laughs> That's just the one point. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It is funny that hair like bugs are like, whoa, this is crazy. It's just hair. Get in there. <laughs> Sand. It, so, it wicks away moisture like an Under Armour shirt for your asshole. Does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe that's so why I'm kind of. slipping and sliding down Oh, there. dog, I got galoshes down there. I, I don't have Easy a lot. Easy entrance. I don't have a lot. Yep. Pegging. I don't have, here we go. Sex swing. Someone fuck me. I don't have a lot of hair there New anyway. Leaf. Yeah, new leaf, 2023, it doesn't matter. Um, but I don't really have a lot of hair down there initially, but I shave it. So that's maybe, I feel. Yes, but maybe that's why, because I'm telling you, sometimes I got a wet asshole. So maybe that's why. It, yeah. yeah. Where else is it going to go? There's no brawny towels down there. God, I didn't even think about that. Fuck. Did you know that, though? It, like, takes water away? No, but I just trusted anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Which was that again, people? <laughs> I just trust the human body. Dude, the human body is so... I was thinking about this recently. This shit knows so much more than me. Dude, Evolution. Let me tell you something. You know you know the, the mutant X-Men? Uh, you know X-Men, the show? Yes. Okay, do you know Wolverine? Yes. Okay, you know how he gets cut and he can heal? Mm-hmm. And everyone's like, whoa, so cool. We fucking do that. Yeah. Dog, I cut my finger opening boxes because she took everything and I had to <laughs> order stuff. Um, so I ordered a bunch of new stuff. And I was opening my accent chair. What up? And I busted my goddamn finger open. Bad. Had to put two bandages on it. I thought I was like, I'm going to lose the tip of my finger and my girlfriend. Uh." So, um, and but it healed. I know that's not news. I know that we're like, oh, yeah, that's what your body does. But I don't think we realize how fucking nuts that is. Body's great. Son. That's why I trust it. If we lose part of our liver... The bitch grows back, dog. There's tonsils. Don't need them. Don't need them. bladder. Don't, don't need them. Cock. We got extra. It's like when you're building that chair and it gives yep. you two extra screws. You go, don't need them. Do I need them? But I always save them. I why do I do that? I, do, I, do, I have a whole drawer. goddamn drawer. And then four years go by and I go, hey, what are these for? Throw them away. I don't throw away directions. Like I'm going to remake the chair later. Yep. The fuck is that? Wild. I still have like an iPhone 4 box somewhere. Dude, I have all my boxes. For what? I don't know. And then you're moving. You go, I guess I'll throw them away now. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't even know why I'm saving them. In case, like, I, for Gigi's ashes or something. What the fuck am I saving an iPhone? About? <laughs> you get a bigger box than an iPhone 4 for that. Ah, damn, I let you open for that. Yeah, so, um, uh, dogs, when they lick you, they uh, heal twice as fast. That's Dude, what, what I heard, but I think that's an old wives' tale. Oh, it is. If they lick a wound, it heals twice as fast? Yeah. Is that what real? What the fuck? No, that just sounds like it's going to get infected. They it's- have certain enzy- enzymes in their saliva. I know that, but I thought that wasn't right. I don't know. That's what I'm reading. That sounds pretty right to me. Interesting. Damn. Jack's like, I have a wound on my cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jaded. Should we go to the secret sock? Yeah, Do secret it. sock. Uh, we have an anonymous submission here, um, and it says, uh, I beat my meat three to four times a day with a full-time job. Fuck that yeah, is you your full time job. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You yeah. have a part-time job, and your full-time job is beating that C-O-C-K. Um, Three to four times. I mean, you know, it hey, depends on what you want to do in your 15 minute breaks. Sounds like we know what you do. The hub is firing. He I mean, goes dog. To the bathroom. If anybody's doing shots in the sink, it's well, our dog. Let me dog. tell you something. 7% of Pornhub users because of that guy. Well, he's kind of just breaking it down per meal. He's like, okay, banana, banana. Lunch, <laughs> lunch. Yeah, I've said this before, but when I eat, right after I eat, I need espresso and I need semen out of my cock. And I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe you're just making way. You know, the sandwich just pushes it down <laughs> and then it gets it out. 
Just make a way, dude. Do you, my, think, do you think boxers have ever been like so desperate to cut weight? They're like, I'm so close. Just gotta get a nut off. I think so. That's but that's, that's a great way. But then boxers aren't supposed to like nut before they fight, right? Something like that. But I think boxers do be nutting. If I was a boxer, I'd nut right before I fought. No, right before I'm about to get knocked out. Just so the impact is like, it's not like, oh, it's like, oh. Yeah. I'd have my, uh, the guy in the corner jack me off in the middle of the third <laughs> round. I don't think that'd work. No, <laughs> I would quit the fight. I jerk off yeah, and use you, and you use that about, white towel they throw in as a fucking cleanup. Yeah, there you go. And then throw it in. I'm done. Did Jake Paul win? No. Why? He didn't win. What's his name? Tommy Fury. Tom Fury. Do Hot. It. Wait, Tommy Fury. I don't know. Did he beat his ass? Anyone watch it? No. I think it, I think it was a pretty fair fight, from what I heard. Oh, it was I a split no decision. Yeah, but if it's split and decision, the world goes around. So Tommy still won though. Split decision. I don't mm -hmm. know boxing. If it's split, it seems like it's split, like 50-50. Anyone know boxing? No, I have no idea. I don't God care about damn boxing. It. All can right. we have a competition to see who can jerk off the most in one day? Ugh. I'm going to tell you something. What's up? As a man who's getting out of something, I think there's an advantage. I think this boy could shoot up a futon right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm I would take- me, from downtown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would take the stuffing out. Fill it with my semen. Yeah, I I think you could you could probably fill like a Jif peanut butter jar quick. Yeah, just if it's a Tuesday, I could fill it up. Yeah, Wednesday, boy, well, chunky. I'm excited to hear about the next endeavors. <sighs> what life yeah. holds? You know, I just like I hope life just holds happiness. I know that sounds corny, but I just that's it, 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 fucking Jack just gave me a thumbs down. Um, <laughs> that's just funny to do. <laughs> it's like getting the light. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up. <laughs> Um, but you know what I mean. You know, I don't, th don't want to be out here being crazy. I just want to. I just want to find. You know, just I just want to be content. Y you're telling me, dog. Yeah. We're, we're all, that's all we want. Yeah. That's all we want. You know. I I just think the people at home are now. You know. I think we were getting. Oh, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, no, I I don't think you're seeing where I'm going with. Sorry. This. Go ahead. <laughs> Funny. I think the listeners at home are like, ah, oh, we were so close to Michael getting pegged. And now we're back oh. at ground zero. <laughs> <laughs> but remember last time before I got a girlfriend, I no, closed was that my was? That was a foursome. Hey! <laughs> get him on the phone. Hold up. I'm hard. You're about to be hard. Look, we'll do see. what you want to do. Yeah. Take your time. Listen, I think I'm a different man. I'm a call. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Take your time. Feel yeah, it dude, out. I'm gonna grief take my, how you need to grief. Yeah. Beat how you need to beat. Yeah. I'm going to fuck that accent chair, and then we'll see, we'll see what's going to happen. Nice. Yeah. Well, I don't see a better way to end the podcast than that. Yeah. Everything comes full circle. We're back at the point where you left off talking about maybe having a foursome. Yeah. Like two years ago. Yeah. And now we're back to the foursome. Salute. Good night. Captain Gage. Um, all right, guys. That's it. Thank you so much. This is a goddamn podcast. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting. Also, a friend and reminder, we have a goddamn Patreon for extra episodes. Drops every Friday, ad-free. Um, bonus content out of the goddamn world. Uh, we have iconic episodes such as the Gabe interview, and we're going to do Jack very soon. So jump on that, patreon.com backslash Stiff Socks Pod. Uh, free trial, seven days? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with seven-day free trial, if you guys want to just give it a little taste. Um, we also have Stiff Socks Plus, which is the audio version only of the same bonus episodes that we also have a free trial for that as well for all the Apple listeners. So go jump on that. Um, come see Trev and I on tour. And that is it. We love you guys. Bye. That's it.